Hello everybody, welcome to the new episode in Neera Shukla IoT channel. And in this episode, we'll be talking about how to install Python in Windows 7 desktop. So we are having a Windows 7 Ultimate OS here. It is a 64-bit OS and I have opened www.python.org site and I'll show you that if you go to downloads it gives you this download and you can download and afterwards you can install so I have already downloaded this so I'll double click on this okay so now you can see now you can see that it will install at this path and it will include the idle it will also include pip pip is actually uh, install it's it's also an installer for all other libraries and you can customize your installation and you can add the path okay so if you feel you can customize or you can go for install now so I'm going for install now which is asking me the permission and now it will install it will not take much time so I'll not go for a pause here and you can see it is taking very less time in the, in the meantime we can talk about what is the advantage of 64 bit OS actually the 64 bit OS it uh, actually there are many libraries and many softwares which uh, ask you for either a 64 bit Windows or a 64 bit Linux or any other kind of this so it is better to have OS which is 64 bit okay so uh, I am putting this particular episode because I feel that people still need a Python installation episode that's why and in this episode I'll be continuing about the dash installation now what is dash what I'll do is I'll go here and type on Google I'll type dash dash python install so it is a guide actually dash belong to plotly okay so I'll open this site so after the installation of python we will going for a dash install okay in the meantime it is loading so we'll see <coughs> So here you can see that setup is successful and you can now close ok. Now after the setup of python is successful we will see what is dash. Actually dash is a kind of uh, you can say environment where you can create python apps okay so what we'll do is we'll open a command prompt here we'll type cmd okay so when it will come here i'll put right click and i'll go for run as administrator it is a better idea every time to go for a run with administrator because it gives you all rights okay so firstly I'll check whether pip is there or not so yes I think it is interacting so pip is there okay. so pip is already there so what I'll do is now I'll go with the commands so I'll take first pip install dash 
to this comment. I can go up to here. It is a comment. So I will copy and I will put it here. Paste. So it will collect dash and will install. So you can see dash is being installed. It will hardly take few minutes. In the meantime, we will copy the next command. So these are actually the HTML components because you will be making apps you may be making web apps or whatever so you copy this and when this will be installed you will be putting that in the meantime it is being installed what we'll do is we'll see how dash works So this will be a website which will take you when you have gone to this after this I uh, clicked on this will go to a website which is plotly dash dot plotly and getting started it will, it will take you to the dash user guide okay so in the meantime it is loading we will go back here You will see presently it is still installing. So maybe it will take uh, some minutes here. In the meantime, we'll talk about dash. <coughs> now, if you want to make dash apps, dash apps are they have two parts. First is the layout. Okay, so how the app should look like. So that is the layout part okay and you can make this sort of if you are making up app so you can make you can import dash dash core components html components and you can incorporate your cascade style sheets if you wish okay so then you go for the layout etc and you can make your dash app so dash provides you a proper visualization also you can see it is a com it is you can say a competitor of matplotlib if you know about matplotlib so dash is a competitor okay Many times we see almost almost hundred percent of our first part is now it will take some more time. Let it be. So so firstly we create and if you know uh, you will be liking dash if you know HTML and CSS so people knowing HTML and CSS they can make interactive website with dash okay now if you go for a next chapter here I am just giving you an overview we will be working on our first dash app in the next episode I am just giving you an, an overview in this episode so that you you get familiar what you have to do here okay so so you can see this is the part 2 okay uh, in the previous page in this page we have talked about the layout okay and in this page we'll be talking about the components okay there are the core components okay so 
will be working on this but i am giving you an overview you can see you have created an object dcc as dash core components html as html components and you can just like if you have worked on flask if you have worked on flask flask is also a count uh, you can say a computer of dash okay so you can create a slider program or a graph program with the help of graph uh, component and slider component okay so that you can do you can use you can uh, you can also incorporate visualization uh, and data visualization with pandas and you can import your data and you can work on that right so that you can do so here this is almost done so it will take some more time in the meantime we will go to the third chapter just an overview we will cover chapter by chapter in the coming episode first to give you an overview what all we can do with dash i am giving you this so if you go to the third chapter so if you click on the next chapter so it will talk about callbacks so you, you it will be talking about the states right so here you can see input and output you have taken and what you will do is you will go for callbacks so here it is a callback so you give some input and you, it will return some output okay so you can see is just like you can see this if you know flask here it runs like that only so if you click on any one it will give you some output so it is a dynamic thing okay so that is there so that you can do next if you go to the next chapter so you can see is you can have interactive visualizations okay so here what you do is with the help of graph and other components you can go for visualization in the meantime you will see what happened here it is already running okay so you can see is you can go for import json javascript object notation then text wrap it is a also a package we are importing ddent as d then dash all these already you have seen in the previous so what you are doing here is you will be creating a graphical visualization so you can see is with the help of hovering of mouse and doing something you can visualize the data so that can be done on dash
I am again saying we are not doing any exercise here that we will be doing in the coming episode. I am just giving you an overview what all can be done here. Again we will go for our next chapter. Okay, in the meantime we will see it is still installing. Still install. So we we'll now what we can do is the next episode talks about it is loading still sharing data between callbacks. So that is a very important. So we we'll close one by one actually just to come back. Let us see whether it is installed or not. If it is like this, we will, what we will do is So there are some condition where you require sharing of states. So that is possible in dash. If that can be done. You can define app dot callback. sharing data between callbacks because you have data in the user's browsing session or on the disk or on the share memory space okay. so that can be done so there are different examples which we will be doing in the coming episodes now let us come back to the first page where we are talking about installation what you have to do is if it will take it is taking time here in my computer you can one by one install all these okay that you can do what i can do is i'll close to different pages so that it will reduce some memory and it will free some memory that you have to do. I am closing this session here. In the coming session we will be talking about the first